The Ark of the Covenant, a sacred artifact mentioned in biblical texts, has captivated imaginations and sparked intrigue through millennia. Scientists have finally opened the Ark of Covenant that was sealed for thousands of years. Was it a real, tangible object, or is it a myth embedded in ancient storytelling? In this video, we delve deep into historical channels and archaeological investigations, aiming to uncover evidence tied to this enigmatic relic passed down through generations. Some assert that the Ark possessed divine powers and played a central role in ancient Israelite worship, while skeptics view it as a product of collective mythology. Join us as we unravel 18 interesting facts and explore varied perspectives to address the enduring question of the Ark's true nature and existence. The Ark's Description in the Bible The Ark of the Covenant, a sacred chest described in ancient biblical texts, holds a world of mystery within its detailed descriptions. Crafted with precise measurements, the Ark was made from acacia wood, overlaid with pure gold, both inside and out. Its design speaks of divine intricacy, featuring a gold crown molding and two cherubim with outstretched wings at the top. The cherubim faced each other, creating a space between them known as the Mercy Seat, believed to be the dwelling place of God's presence. Artists and craftsmen of extraordinary skill, Bezalel and Oholiab, were divinely chosen to bring this heavenly design to life. The Ark wasn't just a vessel, it was a bridge between the divine and the earthly, shrouded in a veil of awe and wonder. Its very dimensions and materials are said to carry symbolic meanings, making the Ark a subject of fascination and reverence through the ages. The Contents of the Ark The Ark of the Covenant is said to house items of profound significance. Within its gilded walls, it's believed to contain the Ten Commandments, given to Moses on Mount Sinai, a powerful testament of God's words to his people. Accompanying these stone tablets is Aaron's rod, a symbol of leadership and divine selection, which miraculously budded flowers overnight. Also nestled inside is a golden jar of manna, the heavenly food that sustained the Israelites in the desert. These items are not just relics. They are echoes of miraculous events and divine intervention. The contents of the Ark weave a tale of covenant, leadership and survival, carrying the weight of divine history. Just recently, scientists have opened the Ark of Covenant that was sealed for thousands of years, the Ark's powers and abilities. The Ark of the Covenant, shrouded in mystery, is believed to have held powers beyond human comprehension. Ancient texts speak of its ability to communicate divine messages, leading and guiding the Israelites through perilous journeys. It wasn't just an ornate box, it was a conduit of the divine. When the Ark was placed before the River Jordan, the waters are said to have parted, allowing safe passage for an entire nation. Battles were won, and formidable enemies were vanquished when the Ark was brought onto the battlefield. Yet, it demanded respect. Those who handled it carelessly faced dire consequences. There are tales of entire towns falling ill, and numerous individuals meeting untimely deaths for merely laying eyes on it or touching it without proper authorization. The Ark wasn't just a religious artifact. It was a testament to the Divine Presence, a source of awe and fear showcasing a raw, untamed power that commanded respect and reverence. The Levites and the Ark Now we delve into the ancient and mystical tales surrounding the Levites, a unique group chosen for the sacred task of handling the Ark of the Covenant. Shrouded in solemnity, their responsibilities were immense, with stringent rules and rituals guiding every interaction with this divine artifact. The Levites alone bore the privilege and burden of transporting the Ark, a duty fraught with peril for the uninitiated or unwary. Mysterious accounts tell of dire consequences for those who strayed from the sacred protocols, emphasizing the Ark's potent and unfathomable nature. As guardians of this celestial treasure, the Levites played a crucial role in the Ark's enigmatic history, their lives intricately woven with its powerful legacy. Step into the realm of the ancient world and discover the awe-inspiring connection between the Levites and the Ark, a story that beckons with whispers of secrets and divine mysteries from a time long past. The Battle of Jericho, a divine intervention. Step back in time to a moment shrouded in mystery and divine awe, the Battle of Jericho. Imagine the Israelites with the Ark of the Covenant at their vanguard, 
encircling the formidable walls of the ancient city. For six days, nothing but the sound of trumpets and the steady march of feet filled the air. But on the seventh day, as the Ark completed its seventh circle, something extraordinary happened. The walls, thought to be impenetrable, crumbled to the ground. Was it an act of divine intervention, facilitated by the Ark's mysterious powers? The event remains a topic of fascination and speculation to this day. Archaeologists and historians alike delve into ancient texts and unearthed ruins, attempting to piece together the puzzle. The Ark's role in this biblical tale continues to captivate our imaginations, leaving us to wonder about the true extent of its influence and the secrets it might hold. The Ark's Mysterious Disappearance But this was all to change very soon. The Ark of the Covenant, carrying its divine aura, mysteriously vanished from the annals of history, leaving behind a trail of enigma and fascination. Its last known whereabouts are steeped in biblical tales and ancient scripts, but the exact location remains an unsolved riddle. Was it hidden to protect it from invaders, or was it taken to a secret location by divine intervention? Theories abound, yet evidence is scarce, weaving a tapestry of mystery and allure. Some ancient texts hint at its careful concealment by the prophet Jeremiah, while others suggest it was spirited away to unknown lands. As we journey through this maze of uncertainty, the Ark continues to elude discovery, remaining an enigmatic symbol of divine power and ancient secrets, challenging us to question, wonder, and imagine. The Search for the Ark The quest to uncover the final resting place of the Ark of the Covenant is as thrilling as it is mysterious. For centuries, Adventurers, historians, and archaeologists have dedicated their lives to following the trails and whispers of this sacred artifact. Each clue seems to deepen the enigma, leading us through hidden caves, ancient scriptures, and lost cities. Some searches point towards the turbulent lands of the Middle East, while others believe it may be safely tucked away on the African continent. Many have claimed to be on the brink of discovery, yet the Ark continues to elude us shrouded in secrecy and legend. The journey to unveil its secrets is fraught with challenges, but the allure of unraveling one of history's greatest mysteries keeps the search alive, fueling our imagination and our relentless pursuit of the truth. The Ark in Ethiopia? In the mystic lands of Ethiopia, however, whispers and legends speak of the Ark's secret abode. The ancient city of Aksum is said to house this divine relic within the walls of St. Mary of Zion Church. Protected fervently by a lineage of solitary guardians, the Ark's presence remains shrouded in secrecy and sacredness. These guardians dedicate their lives, relinquishing all worldly ties, to protect this celestial treasure. Their unwavering faith and devotion add layers to the Ark's enigmatic allure. Skeptics and believers alike are drawn to this tale, Yet the Guardians uphold a steadfast silence, keeping the mysteries of the Ark intact. Is the Ark truly resting in Ethiopia, or is this another chapter in its long legacy of enigma? The air in Aksum teems with questions, as the Ark continues to weave its tale of mystery, devotion, and timeless intrigue. The Ark and the Knights Templar The Knights Templar, a medieval Christian military order, are shrouded in as much mystery as the Ark of the Covenant itself. Rumors persist that these knights embarked on a secret quest to find and safeguard the Ark. Legends speak of hidden treasures and sacred relics, but the Ark, if it was ever in their possession, remains the most enigmatic of all. The Templars, known for their military prowess and deep religious devotion, were well placed to embark on such a covert mission. Yet, what they found, and what became of the Ark under their watch is a tale lost in the mists of time. The Order was disbanded, and their secrets seemingly vanished with them. Did they discover the Ark's final resting place? Or did they too become part of its enduring enigma? This section delves into the intriguing connection between the Ark of the Covenant and the Knights Templar, exploring the mystery that binds them across centuries. The Ark under the Temple Mount a hidden secret? Deep beneath the stone-paved expanse of Jerusalem's Temple Mount, some believe that the Ark of the Covenant is hidden there. This theory suggests that before the Babylonians sacked Jerusalem in 586 BC, 
the Ark was secretly hidden away to protect it from plunder. The Temple Mount, being the site of Solomon's Temple where the Ark was originally kept, stands as a plausible hiding place. As centuries rolled on, the exact location of the Ark became lost to time, with this sacred site now surrounded by religious and political complexities. Despite numerous claims and extensive research, tangible evidence remains elusive. The Temple Mount holds layers of historical and spiritual significance, making the theory even more tantalizing. Could the Ark still be resting, hidden and untouched, in the hidden chambers beneath the ancient stones? This segment explores this captivating theory, navigating through historical accounts, religious texts, and the shroud of mystery that keeps the Ark's secrets just out of reach. Some scholars remain skeptical about the theories surrounding the Ark of the Covenant's whereabouts, highlighting the lack of reliable historical or textual proof. They assert that many of these ideas stem from legends and mere speculation. Additionally, they point out the existence of numerous alternative theories regarding the Ark's fate. The scholarly community also raises critical questions about the current-day religious and political ramifications of uncovering or revealing the Ark, especially considering the centuries Judaism and Christianity have thrived in its absence. They caution that any endeavors to search for or lay claim to the Ark might ignite violent disputes given the contentious claims of Jews, Muslims, and Christians over Jerusalem and its sacred sites. Ron Wyatt's Shocking Discovery Ron Wyatt, an amateur archaeologist, stirred the world in 1982 with his audacious claim of discovering the Ark of the Covenant in a chamber situated below Jerusalem's Calvary Escarpment, inside what he identified as the Garden Tomb Complex. Wyatt proposed that this sacred artifact, missing for millennia, rested merely meters away from the site believed to be Jesus Christ's crucifixion. He described finding the Ark covered in animal skins and wooden boards, hidden in a secret chamber. Additionally, Wyatt asserted a direct connection between the crucifixion and the Ark, suggesting that Christ's blood dripped down through an earthquake crack, landing upon the Ark's mercy seat. This striking narrative connected profound biblical moments, attempting to offer tangible proof to biblical stories. Despite these captivating details, Wyatt's claims have been met with considerable skepticism from the scholarly and archaeological communities. However, lack of empirical evidence and peer-verified research have left his findings largely outside mainstream acceptance. However, his tales continue to enchant and provoke thought among believers and enthusiasts, sustaining the air of mystery that shrouds the legendary Ark of the Covenant. The Ark's Supposed Curses the Ark of the Covenant is not just an object of divine wonder, it is shrouded in ominous tales of curses and retribution. Legends whisper of its formidable powers, not just to protect, but to punish. Those who dared to mishandle or disrespect this sacred artifact reportedly faced dire consequences. The Bible narrates an incident where Uzzah, a man who steadied the Ark with his hand during its transportation, was struck dead instantly. Was it divine wrath or an ancient warning encoded in religious texts? These stories weave a web of mystery around the Ark, making it an object of awe and fear. The chilling accounts have perpetuated through centuries, contributing to the Ark's enigmatic reputation. But is there any truth to these tales of curses, or are they mere fabrications of ancient storytelling? The Ark's supposed curses remain an intriguing aspect of its legacy captivating the imagination of believers and skeptics alike. The Ark's Design and Symbolism The Ark of the Covenant is not only mysterious in its powers, but also in its intricate design and rich symbolism. Its construction, as described in the Bible, involves acacia wood overlaid with pure gold, with cherubim placed on its lid. These cherubim, with their wings stretched out, create a space that is believed to be the mercy seat, a divine throne. The Ark's design is a masterpiece of ancient craftsmanship, encapsulating a profound sense of the sacred and divine. The cherubim, angelic beings in biblical tradition, add a layer of heavenly mystique, turning the Ark into a tangible connection between the divine and the mortal realms. What were the artists and craftsmen trying to convey through this elaborate design? Was it simply a product of religious devotion, or was there a deeper, hidden meaning to it? The Ark's design and symbolism continue to be a source of fascination and wonder, 
drawing in those who seek to unravel the secrets of the past and understand the divine mysteries of the ancient world. The Ark's Journey Through History Embarking on a mystical journey through the passages of time, the Ark of the Covenant's whereabouts and movements have woven a tapestry of mystery and intrigue. Its story, deeply rooted in biblical texts, tells of its pivotal role in ancient Israel, from leading the Israelites across the Jordan River to its enigmatic presence in King Solomon's temple. However, as centuries rolled on, the Ark's trail fades into whispers and shadows. Historians and enthusiasts alike delve into ancient scriptures, attempting to piece together the puzzle of its travels. Did it remain hidden within the sacred walls of the temple, or was it transported to unknown lands shrouded in secrecy? The answers remain elusive, as the Ark's journey through history is a captivating riddle, waiting to be solved. Its legacy lives on, fueling the fires of curiosity and wonder as we continue our quest to unveil the secrets of this divine artifact. The Ark's Connection to Ancient Technology Venturing into the realm of the unknown, the Ark of the Covenant story takes a fascinating turn, as some propose that this sacred artifact was more than a religious symbol. It was an ancient form of technology. Whispers of its divine powers, capable of striking down foes and performing miraculous feats, fuel speculations about the Ark's true capabilities. Could it have harnessed an ancient, yet advanced form of energy, unknown to modern science? The descriptions of sparks and deadly forces emanating from the Ark paint a picture of an object not just divine, but also immensely powerful. Theories suggest that the Ark could have been a conductor of electricity or a communication device, bridging the divine and the mortal. While skeptics may dismiss these ideas as mere flights of fancy, the enigmatic nature of the Ark invites us to keep an open mind. As we navigate through the mists of time, the Ark of the Covenant stands as a testament to the wonders of the ancient world, challenging our understanding and igniting our imagination. Theories about the Ark's true purpose. Delving into the shadowy past of the Ark of the Covenant reveals a treasure trove of theories and speculations. What was its true purpose? Some historians and theologians propose that it served as a divine conduit channeling God's power and presence to his chosen people. Others ponder if it might have been a sophisticated tool for ancient leaders, leveraging its aura of mystery to unify tribes and establish order. The Ark, adorned with gold and cherubim, was it merely a religious symbol, or did it house something more? A catalyst for miracles or a masterstroke of ancient propaganda? The truth eludes us, cloaked in centuries of legend and lore, leaving us with more questions than answers. The Ark's Legacy and Enduring Mystery The Ark of the Covenant, an artifact of immense significance, has left an indelible mark on history, religion, and culture. Its story, woven into the fabric of ancient scripture, continues to bewitch and baffle scholars and enthusiasts alike. What happened to this divine chest, and where does it rest now? Its disappearance is still one of the greatest enigmas of our time, a puzzle shrouded in mystery and draped in intrigue. The Ark's legacy is a tapestry of faith, wonder, and endless speculation, with each generation adding their thread to the narrative. Despite the passage of time, the allure of the Ark remains undiminished, an eternal enigma calling out to those brave enough to seek its secrets. Possible Future Discoveries The future holds untold possibilities, and with it, the tantalizing prospect of unveiling the Ark's mysteries. Could groundbreaking discoveries lie just over the horizon, waiting to rewrite history and illuminate the shadows of the past? The Ark, if ever found, has the potential to transform our understanding of ancient civilizations, religious practices, and the very fabric of faith itself. Archaeologists and adventurers, armed with cutting-edge technology and a thirst for knowledge, continue their quest driven by the allure of the unknown. The Ark's secrets are well guarded, but the pursuit of truth is relentless. Thank you for being with us. Make sure to watch the next video on your screen. It's mind-blowing.